microts are nickel plated discs uh, that contain a personal identification number on them. They are about 0.5 millimeter in diameter and uh, the information that's recorded on them is actually punched right through the microt so that information is not lost. For example, South Africa, we, we've been able to identify uh, vehicles that have been tampered with or cloned motor vehicles um, because we spray the vehicles at factory level. And because we spray the vehicles at factory level, they get a specific ID number on them through, through the spray of, of microdots. The most important thing is getting rid of, of stolen parts. So, and, and parts that are, that are able to be, to be traced back to the owners is exactly what the microdot will do for them. And I applaud them for bringing this technology here. During the last three decades, Ministry of Surface Transport brought in various regulations under the, a committee which was called CMVR Technical Standing Committee. And they have framed by now more than 200 standards to ensure safety of the vehicles on the road. But there are certain regulations which the government has brought in to maintain a discipline on the road by the people who drive and the people who move around. One of the important regulations first was HSRP, that is high security plate for ensuring security and removing the theft burden on the society. In early 2000, Morth decided that they want to do away with the paper-based vehicle registration and driving license and therefore they came out with the concept of a smart card based driving license and vehicle registration and started a smart card operating system for transport applications which was to be hard coded on the chip of the smart card and also for purpose which was for purposes of uh, universal usage across the uh, country on an interoperable basis in all states which basically meant that any card issued in any state can be read in any other state. The main advantages of smart card is that they cannot be duplicated and they come in the form of an ISO 7816 size card with a chip on it which once the data has been put onto it, it gets locked using the NIC key management system. Further, they also went on to developing a back-end database both for the vehicle registration which they called Vahan and for driving license which they called Sarthi. Uh, Rosmerta was uh, the pioneer in this industry and started the first uh, Costa-based card uh, in Delhi where we issued the vehicle registration uh, card starting in 2004 and thereafter went on to issue the smart card based vehicle registration in the state of Maharashtra in 2006. Rosmerta Technologies Limited has till date issued over 20 crore driving license and vehicle registrations across the country in India. And this is not the finish. We are yet going on. There were certain problems of, in regard to the uh, misbehavior which happened on the road, so far as Nirbhay case is concerned for a girl. As a result of that, government brought in a regulation which is called a vehicle tracking system. And that tracking system was such that all buses are now fitted with vehicle tracking system along with the emergency button as well as NVR recorder which records the activity of any mishap which happens in the bus. And a person commuting has got an opportunity to stop that bus at any particular moment. So Sensorize is the pioneer in the embedded SIM uh, space. Uh, we have been in the business since 2016. We were the first one to bring the embedded SIM technology into India, whereby you can have multiple networks working on the same intelligent uh, SIM card. These networks could be 2G, 3G, 4G, and even tested with 5G now. Since 2019, 1st January, all vehicles have mandatorily required this dual SIM connectivity which we have uh, provided and we have not only developed this 
particular thing, we work with all the telcos in India to ensure that the, uh, the vehicle which is applying uh, on the road is never out of network connectivity. It is always trackable and traceable by at least one of the networks which is present on the road on that particular time. We also work with the connected car uh, ecosystem whereby we enable the features of not only traffic and navigation but also around in-car entertainment as well as advanced driver assistance systems. While this is primarily objective was passenger safety, but uh, such effective deployment which is undergoing in full swing under the ministry can contribute to improve majorly the major reason of road fatalities which is, which is contributing around 70% in India is unsafe driving. Because such deployment not only can generate in-vehicle alert for drivers, it also can facilitate a faster deployment of rescue team nearby. We as Rosemata got into this business in, since 2012 and uh, other than having our automobile OEM manufacturers look as our customer like Toyota or NG Motors, Rosemata have executed quite a number of largest projects in India as well as unique and first of its kind project offer in India which includes you know, the world's largest government fleet operator that is Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation of 18,000 buses, uh, mining uh, sector in Odisha having more than 80,000 mining trucks being monitored for pilferage and truck hijacking etc. Uh, we are the first one to deploy uh, AIS 140 that is tracking passenger uh, emergency button integrated fare meter for Goa's tax taxis in Goa and auto, in autos in Chennai up to the tune of 60,000 plus or more uh, you know, uh, autos and taxis across country. A competency test is required to be given by a driving license seeker as per Rule 15 of CMVR before driving license can be issued to it by State Transport Department. As on date, most of the states conducts driving skills competency test through subjective visual process instead of automated solution. We at Rosemata are proud to be the pioneers of video-netic solution with a technology-based automated solution for testing driving skills of license seeker and established and operating first video-netic based automatic driving test tech center in the country at IDTR CRT Complex, Pune, since 2015. We are the exclusive operator of Delhi government's video netic based ADTD centers and are conducting driving tests of any Delhi citizen who applies for driving license. For ensuring the quality and abidance to the rules and regulations of the vehicle prescribed for running on the road as per Rule 62 under CMVR. Government of India set up 10 pilot centers almost a decade ago they initiated this step. Rose Martha played a pioneering role in this and the first center was set up in 2015 in Nasik. Following that, a large number of centers have been set up in the country. Almost a dozen centers are run by Rosemata exclusively and they are in the states like Orissa, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana, Delhi, Bangalore and more in Dharwar as well as in Mysore. Taking advantage of the benefits which are derived out of testing of the vehicles every year as far as commercial vehicles are concerned, government has now come up with a policy in the year 2019 when amendment of the Motor Vehicle Act took place and it is decided 
that from April this year, that is 2023, all commercial vehicles will be tested through automotive testing stations. Rose Martha is a very quality conscious company. It ensures quality in entire spectrum of, of its products. Rosemata has won the global tender floated by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India, for establishing and operating 10 model ATS centers in the country in 2013. We have conducted till date fitness tests of over 3 lakhs vehicles at these ATS centers and have experience of over 7 years for operating them. We are working with various state governments for establishing and operating over 250 ATS centers across the country. As a brand Rose Blue, we are saving our environment through controlling the pollution which is made by oxides of nitrogen, particulate matter, carbon monoxide. As a brand Rose Blue, we are taking care of the quality and the consistency of the quality in-house with our state-of-the-art modern plant at Manisar and Bangalore and upcoming 19 plants across India within three months. Uh, to test our product, we are having our own NABL standard lab facility at Manisar, which is making sure that the product per litre is delivered with consistency in quality.